send me some sorry lines But passion undying That the oceans can't subside Hi everybody, welcome back to Polymer Clay TV. Today we're going to use marbling techniques to create a faux wood look. And we did a couple different things and we made some picture frames that might be nice. Um, we were thinking maybe to give to a guy since we do so many girly pretty projects. <laughs> so get out your um, different colors of beige, ecru, all the kind of brown colors and uh, let's get started. So today we're going to be showing you how to make this the faux wood design and basically what you're going to need is clay in a few different colors. We have ecru, burnt sienna, or raw sienna and burnt umber. Right. Okay, and then this is um, raw sienna and ecru mixed so that we could get a little bit of a variation. And um, if you come over to Polymer Clay Classroom, we're going to show how to make this one from start to finish with the background and the faux wood inlays. And then right now, what I'm going to be showing you is how to make this kind of faux wood sheet. So what you need to do is just start with your snakes rolled out to about the same length and just stack them together. And this is basically a variation of <clears throat> the marbling technique. So you're just going to squeeze them together and compress them and roll them out and then give them a twist and then I like to roll mine back up into a ball and roll them out again. So you have to give them a little squeeze to make sure they stick. And roll <laughs> and twist. And just do it until you start seeing what you would call like the veining in the wood. Yeah, you want to just see until you get the right texture of wood, and 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 to achieve that look, just look at a piece of wood and see see the grain of it. You know, you'll you'll have a better idea of what the wood looks like, and uh, if you're looking at a piece of wood, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, I would say for this technique, you're going to end up wanting to use your pasta machine to get a nice sheet of it. So I'm just going to roll it through the pasta machine until I like how it looks, and I'm going to make it a little thinner. One side is looking better than the other, so that's the side that'll be on the outside when I fold it up. So that's starting to look nice. So you can just stretch it with your hands a little bit, and then eventually you're going to stop because you don't want these to mix together. That's not the point. So right there, that's nice. That's starting to look like a nice wood. So now I'm going to just stretch it out. Yeah, take you did that <laughs> very different from me. Take it to <laughs> a four. And I, I started with a small amount of clay, so I'm getting a small amount of, of um, wood grain, but that's enough for my little project. But for the frame that Elisa made, you would definitely want to start with more clay. Do you want to show... Sure. How you do it? <laughs> do you need the pasta machine? No. Okay. I never used it. But, I mean, <laughs> I just kind of took my colors, and I, and I like to work with four colors as well. That's just a good amount for me. And what I do is I kind of butt them together, and I fold them in on themselves, and roll it, and then I fold it again, and roll it, and you're just kind of creating that same kind of effect that Kira did, but with just rolling it instead. I use the pasta machine to roll out the flat sheet to put onto my picture frame. That's what I used it for. But for this technique, I just kept squishing it back together. And then you can give it a little twist. So she did that too. But, you know, I just kind of fold it onto each itself, and it'll start to create a, that same kind of wood grain pattern. And you just play with it until you, you like your results. Because every time it'll come out different. <laughs> It's not going to be the same every time. So let me just roll this out so you can see how it would look. So you don't need your pasta machine to, to create this wood look either. You can just use 
strips and keep rolling it up until you get your desired look. <laughs> it's so funny how we work so <laughs> I know. <laughs> it is. So have fun with it and be sure to come to Polymer Clay Classroom where you can see how we made this frame. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. <laughs>